Toyota is starting starting to have Android Auto. So when you plug in your device, it shows up right here. Android Auto is available for this device. So let's hit on. We have this right here. It's right here. Android Auto resume when your car is parked. Already parked, engage the parking brake. <laughs> You will need to download some apps here in order to set it up. You will also need to basically give up all your privacy too as well by all the all the agreements you have to agree to. Not only does uh, Google get your personal information, but also they can send it to their partners as well. So make sure you allow them to have your private data. All right, so when does it show up on the screen? <laughs> Seems like Apple CarPlay is a little bit easier. Just plug it in and it works, right? Yeah. But you do have to give away all your privacy. So far it's on the screen of my phone, but not on the screen of the vehicle. So I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah, then maybe that's what it is. You gotta unplug it and then replug it in. More privacy. Oh, here we go. That's what it is. There we go. Now it's finally saying to start, select Android Auto on your screen. So we'll go to projection, I guess. Android Auto. There we go. So the projection turned into Android Auto. There we go. Show me how. I like that, you can, these are all um, notifications that you can get rid of. So it's a navigation map, but how do you get to, okay. So now we have some a lot better. podcast, calendar, news, reminder, maps, weather. So now we have navigation, the vehicle didn't have navigation, so now we have navigation. Mm -hmm. So this button is kind of like the center button on your phone. I'm noticing there's not a lot of apps relative to the apps that I have here, mm -hmm. but it does give some additional functionality. Tell me a joke. Why did the scarecrow keep getting promoted? Because he was outstanding in his field. Where's the nearest gun store? Showing results for where's the nearest gun store. Where's Best Buy? Showing results for where is Best Buy? Find Michael Holmes. Showing results for Find Michael Holmes. 5.0 Toyota dealer, Michael Holmes. Look at that. Is that the number you want everybody to know? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. My corporate line it goes right to my phone. Awesome. Pretty All right, neat. I think we played around with Android Auto enough. Obviously, they don't. They got crappy jokes, and they got <laughs> they don't have the correct information. <laughs> with Toyota, with Apple CarPlay, all we got to do is plug it in. We don't have to go through all the steps. The steps in order to set it up in aggravation. All right, Michael, go ahead. You've got the iPhones. Go ahead and plug it in. As soon as he plugs it in, watch. Bam! We already got it. It's already set up. We don't have to sell our soul to the uh, the Google. What is it? The new Google? Don't they have this new AI thing that's like quantum yeah. physics or whatever? Quantum computing AI. Yeah. You don't have to sell your soul to that. You can just plug it in, and um, 
you can sell your soul to you can see how everything you don't have to connect to bluetooth or anything it plugs right in that's your signal strength wi-fi your music you just touch on it nice and then you can go back to your maps similar just like you did before but does it tell jokes yeah of course it does just like siri or something like that mm-hmm there's a way to do it. I just need to remember. They should have like a... You remember Max Headroom from the 80s? They should have like a... You know, you know what I'm talking about? The one that was in the, the Back to the Future movies? Probably. It's like a talking head on it's yeah. like a computer. Yeah. They should have like a Steve Jobs <laughs> that pops up and you ask him and you talk to him. That'd be pretty... That'd be hilarious. Cool. That looks just like, it doesn't, see the, the Android Auto, does, there's a disconnect. It doesn't really look like a phone. This looks just like the phone. Exactly. Hmm. Oh, I remember. You push and hold. Tell me a joke. Pavlov's hair wasn't always so silky. He had to condition it. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. You're going to have to, that's more sophisticated too. You're going to have to know a little bit about stuff. Psychology and stuff. Find Michael Holmes. Sorry, I can't help you with find my friends while you're in the car. Find Michael Holmes. Sorry, I can't help you with no, find my friends while same. you're in the car. I wonder if you go to search. Oh, that's nice. Those shortcuts are right there. Coffee, yeah. Starbucks, Dunkin. It's really called Dunkin now? Or is it Dunk it's Dunkin' Donuts, okay. I just like that it's easier in regards to like it's right there. You have Yelp reviews. You, you got more, you got higher stars than Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Where would you like to go? Michael Holmes Toyota. One possibility is Sparks Toyota on East Highway 501. Let me know if I should call one of them or get directions for you. Well, it still works pretty well though. I mean, I just like the layout. Yeah, and I think yeah. with the screen too, I mean, it's huge. I mean, you compare it to a regular screen, you know? Yep, yep. I mean, it's yep. like, it's, would you say double? I would say so. This is the Note 10, which is huge. And it's almost like a little tablet. Yeah, it's like more like a tablet. Like a, what was it, iPad mini or something yeah. like that? It looks it's, like an iPad mini size. It's an eight inch screen. And what's nice too, what I like about it. your Google Maps so even if you prefer cool. or ways yeah that's added I mean it's such a big screen too wow Not pin it's doing it. It's just kind of. Let me try my fingers. If it's. Well, I was gonna say, what about if we go to Google Maps? Is that any different? I wonder if it's a feature. How would you zoom in? Let me try my finger. What's this over here? Is there like? Hmm. So that's. So, that's so it doesn't pinch zoom on this particular screen. Right. Through the projection. Right. Same thing, 
same. So all the the maps work the same. It seems like the Apple CarPlay is a lot easier than the Android and Auto. And this changed. If you remember doing our videos, it didn't look like this. No, you know, no, the now, previous video. Right, the, and that has to do with it has to be with iOS 13. So, um, I mean, so, so all of them, any car that I have now looks like this. It's not just a Tacoma thing. When the uh, so the update is through your phone, really. Yeah, yeah, it's software. So, with the reason why Toyota delayed Android Auto is all those privacy concerns, right? Because of how much it shared the information. Uh, Apple was willing to conf conform to what Toyota wanted. And, I mean, you can even see, like, some of this stuff up here. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the SOS. I mean, it's... Here's the thing. The, what, what I find the big difference is that Toyota was more concerned about the audio side and, like, what Google was listening to. Mm -hmm. Because that's the big thing with Google products right now is they listen and they're, listen. Grabbing, yeah, I had they're to, grabbing even more data. I had, they had, I had to give, I'm going to uninstall it, but they had to give permission for them to listen in and all my text messages and tons of, like, you saw I was going it's, through it's all that data stuff. Collection. It's, it's all data collection. 